Could you teach something to 10 students or even 50 students with a method that makes everyone learn? There are factors that influence the learning of a second language in every single student. Now in this video we will show you those factors. There are two main personalities. The first one is extroverted. It was believed that extroverted learners will have more success in developing higher skills in second language learning. This is because they are not afraid to take risks and express themselves. Their oral skills are more developed than their grammatical skills. The introverted learners usually avoid communication opportunities because they are afraid to make mistakes. The lack of participation in using the language orally might not improve their speaking skills. However, usually their writing skills are more developed than the extroverted learner. You cannot say that one personality has more success than the other in the process of learning a second language. But the differences in personalities only affect performance. Also, we found an important factor, which is anxiety. This is the feeling of nervousness that students have when learning a second language. Anxiety took the name of tension. This is a characteristic that affects learning process, whether it's positive or negative. A low level of tension allows the learner to monitor him or herself to feel more confident. Whereas a high level of tension can interfere with the learning process, they feel less confident. However, the benefits depend on the social interaction the learner has. Some other researchers think that it is a temporary characteristic. For instance, when you as a second language student are in an oral presentation, anxiety will not affect the same way that when you interact with your peers. All learners know after years of learning what they want to learn and how they expect to be taught. Depending on what they think, that can be useful for them even if they're right or wrong. This is called learner belief. The students also want immediate corrective feedback because they strongly believe that this is an essential factor in order to master the language. Motivation can be instrumental when your goal is influenced by a purpose or integrative when you do something focused on your personal growth. Motivation is divided into three stages. Choose motivation, you choose whether to do or not to do something. Executive motivation, you perform actions that can provide good or bad results related to what you choose. Motivational retrospective, you decide based on the previous results to continue or to stop. This process is cyclic, as you have to always start at the first stage, but if you quit halfway through it, it does not get you to the third stage, instead you start again at the first stage. The motivation in the classroom involves how students' self-esteem can influence their performance in learning the second language. The creation of a good environment in the classroom is needed to improve the motivation. It involves the student and the teacher, but this situation can create some judgment from any student to another. Bounding them to a certain identity in the class. This learning process should generate an exchange of the roles to improve their communication skills and their metalinguistic knowledge to achieve the process on both areas. Created using Powtoon.